More than 50 engineering teams from 14 high schools clashed yesterday to the sound of crashing bridges. The annual competition hosted by Union County College put six weeks of students' bridge building work to the ultimate test. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Some of these bridges took shape out of tongue depressors, dowels, string, and glue within physics or technology classes, some as high school club projects. They all ended yesterday in much the same way, loaded gradually with more and more weight until something finally gave. The teams start with the same goals, rules, and materials, but they can end up with strikingly different results. Novice class bridges are just under four feet long. Advanced class, just over six feet. A four by four inch block has to fit through the center. Within that, they can be as innovative as they want, but it has to meet certain rules and constraints, like any real engineering project has to meet you know, certain constraints. In a normal lab, it's definite rules, my instructions, measure what I want you to measure. Here it's what ideas can you come up with to push the limits. As in real engineering projects, the winning formula is a balance among trade-offs. So the two-pound novice bridge that carried by far the most weight, 462.5 pounds, came in third behind entries that broke more easily but were judged to be more efficient since they'd been built with roughly half the amount of material. My biggest hope is really to get them to come up with the idea of redesign. From there, it's really where they can apply this in whatever they do. Whether they pursue engineering or whether they pursue humanities, can I improve on what I did? Win or lose, students cheered each other on, including their rivals. The spirit of this event, founded 13 years ago by recently retired engineering professor Lou Campo, is constructive in every way. You give them an opportunity to feel like I can do this, and we have a uh, we have a shortage of engineers in this country. So this is Union County College's outreach to try and really convince kids who didn't think otherwise that they could be engineers. That is kind of fun, anyway. <laughs> Patrick Regan, NJM News, Cranford.